Hey gamers, welcome to Gamer's Quest, where I, Mr. Legends, am honest to find and play the best games available. Today, we are, we are starting a new adventure in a Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what a Nuzlocke is, a Nuzlocke is a self-appointed challenge to make the game more fun or more challenging uh, than the standard game. Because let's face it, most, po most Pokemon games tend to be fairly easy. Um, so we're going to attempt a Nuzlocke challenge. Now typically, when you do a Pokemon Nuzlocke, there are two basic rules that are associated with Nuzlocke that every Nuzlocke challenger has to follow. The first rule is that if any Pokemon faints during battle, it is considered unusable or dead, and it has to permanently be placed into the PC or released out into the wild because it's dead. You can't use it. The other rule uh, is that I'm only allowed to catch the very first Pokemon on any new route. So if I'm on Route 1 or if I'm on Route 2 and I, catch, and I run into a Pidgey, that is the only Pokemon I'm allowed to catch for that route. Okay? I can fight as many as I want, but if I am unable to catch either because I fainted or I ran out of Pokeballs, that Pidgey, I've lost that encounter. There are a ton of other optional rules that people have added to make it even more challenging or harder. I'm going to forego most of those rules because I haven't done a Nuzlocke in about 10 years, and I failed at that one. So I'm going to only use the two, the two basic rules, and I'm going to adopt... This one really has no effect on gameplay. It is just a... It's just a rule to make it, to put it in your head that it's more challenging. Uh, the other rule that's pretty common is I'm going to nickname all of my Pokemon, with the idea being that if I nickname a Pokemon, I create a stronger emotional bond to it, therefore I won't, I'll be more conscious of the decisions I make so that I don't lose my favorite Pokemon. Um... Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use the f them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Sorry about that. It's just always fun to do the Professor Oak voice and you know, try to make voices for all of the different characters. Um, I'm a boy, and we're gonna choose... Okay, we are Mr. Legends, and yes, that is correct. Sorry I couldn't spell out the whole thing, you only get eight characters in Generation 3. Uh, this is our rival, and our rival's name is Brady. Um, you know what? I'm just going to leave it at that. I chose it because I always choose that. And here we go. You know, now that I think about it, there is one more rule that I could add here. And the gentleman who runs the, po the YouTube channel Pokemon Challenges often suggests you do this, and that is your battle style. Typically, the game has you defaulted on to shift style, but I could play on set. The difference is, when it's on shift, the default mode, anytime you faint a Pokemon in a battle, it will tell you the next Pokemon that they're going to send out, and then give you the option to switch to a different Pokemon, therefore giving you a huge advantage for the battle. Um, for rival battles, for gym battles, and for the Elite Four, this is obviously a huge, huge advantage. Um, and even in standard battles, it's still a very large advantage, although they're less important battles. 
And now I'm wondering if I shouldn't do set. I've never played on set. Okay. For my peace of mind, since I haven't done a Nuzlocke in quite some time, I'm going to continue to play on shift. Um, sorry about that. For anybody who are, is disappointed with that choice. Um, first thing you got to do is you got to pull the potion out of your box here. Uh, if you didn't know that was there, now you do. Congratulations, you learned something today. All right. Should um, I should also note real quick that um, because of the nature of how Pokemon games uh, set you up, the second rule that I stated where I'm only allowed to catch the first Pokemon I encounter on a route, that doesn't officially kick in until I'm able to catch Pokemon. So, very initially here, um, if you if you remember Generation One games, um, if you remember Generation One games, your very first task after you get your first Pokemon is you have to go to Viridian City, you have to pick up a parcel for Oak, and you have to come back, and you can't catch Pokemon during that time because you don't have Pokeballs, and you can't buy Pokeballs. So, um, so until you get Pokeballs, uh, we are not going to be... That rule does not apply until we get Pokeballs. Um, who do I choose for a starter? Now, the obvious choice for a lot of people is... Oh, that's Squirtle. I was... I misclicked. Well, a lot of people still choose Squirtle, and honestly, for the first gym, it's a good choice, and even for the seventh gym, it's a, it's a smart choice as well. However, the best choice, in my opinion, oh, that's Charmander. They must... Um, Charmander, and I'm... Charmander is probably the worst choice for starter in this game. Yeah, I said it. Get in the comments. Um, and the reason for that is he's only really useful in one major battle, and that is uh, the Gym 4. That is Gym 4, and it is against Erica. and honestly, Charmander doesn't learn that many Fire-type moves before then anyway. So... Ha-pass. Um, my choice is going to be Bulbasaur. It's good for the early game. He's got good stats when he's fully evolved. He is, in my opinion, the best choice going forward. And I already have a nickname picked out for Bulbasaur because I always name my Bulbasaur slash Venusaur this name. Our Bulbasaur's name is Planthony. It is the best name for Bulbasaur and the Bulbasaur line, in my opinion. Planthony, you're my best friend. Um, I'm also fairly certain that because, because I can't catch other Pokemon, and this is my very first battle, I don't... There are two options going forward here. If I lose this battle, obviously it's the only Pokemon I have. So I've got two options. If I lose... I have to start over. But if I... Or... I could just move forward and then put Planthony in the PC when I have the opportunity to do so. So... Hopefully we win because I don't want to lose my starter. See, we both know Growl, we both know... He knows Scratch, I know Tackle. Um, we're gonna Tackle right off the bat. Well, see, now he used Growl, so I have to counter. 
I have to. I feel like I have to counter almost. We're gonna do it a second time. Give us more. Give us more time. Now remember, if I lose here, it means the run is lost and I have to start over. Ugh. This first battle is always nerve-wracking. Um, I'm definitely inside crit range. Thinking out loud. Not really out loud, just kind of thinking. Um, I could use the potion I collected from my PC. Nope, we're just gonna straight up tackle. Hopefully. Okay. Whew! We won. We just per we just we pushed on through and we persevered. And now we've leveled up, and we're all happy. Um I could have There is there's a lot like I said, there's a lot of rules for Pokemon Nuzlocks. Um uh, once again, the person who runs the Pokemon Challenges YouTube channel, he also plays the rule where he's not allowed to use items inside battles, because items, uh, in his opinion, are overpowered. And I think I, think I do agree with him that uh, items inside battles are definitely... Um, uh, overpowered. Outside of battle, obviously, it's kind of free reign. And while I didn't use an item in that battle, I don't... I don't know. I'm gonna think on that while we do this first run for Professor Oak here. And when do you get shoes and shoes in this game? Because they didn't add running shoes until Generation 3. But in Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire, you get your running shoes really early. Yes, we know Professor Oak. We will take the parcel to him. Um, but now I'm, I'm just not remembering when you get the running shoes in this game. I hope that we get them sooner rather than later because this is so slow. Until... We don't get them until... I don't think we get them until after the first gym battle. Alright, we officially have Pokeballs, which means now... Nuzlocke challenges... or Nuzlocke rules are in effect. So... Let's see how we do here. Um... The... Oh, sorry, I want to get through this really quick. Well, I'm going to get a town map anyway, Brady. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, but... You know what? We don't really need the town map. We are just going to start our adventure here. Okay, here's hoping our first Pokemon is a good one. Give me something good. It's just a Rattata. But Aratata is still good nonetheless. Come on, catch him! Okay, we now have Rattata. And he needs a nickname. What is Rattata's nickname? Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. Yes, I do want to give a nickname to Rattata. We're gonna go with Daniel for Radita. Congratulations, Radita! Your name is now Daniel, and you will be our very best friend. Okay, so that is now our Route One encounter. I can't catch anything else here, um, and that'll be the nature of our Nuzlocke challenge going forward. Um, and we have to be really, I have to be really careful about where and what Pokemon I could potentially run into on various routes. Because, like, 
Viridian City obviously counts because this is a fishing spot. I could, if I had a fishing pole, I could catch a Pokemon here. But unfortunately, I do not. So we're just going to go to the Pokemon Mart and we're going to pick up some more Pokeballs. Hmm. Okay. There is an encounter to the left here. Part of me hopes we get something really good. Good. There are some Nidorans in this patch of grass. I do believe there are still Rattatas here too, and for some reason I feel like Mankey is here too. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, here's hoping we get something really good. Okay, so we've now encountered another Rattata here, and I think we're going to use this particular clause. Um, it's called the dupes clause or dupli duplicate clause. Um, and it's it states that if I run into a Pokemon that I've already caught, or if I run into a Pokemon of an evolutionary line that I've already caught, so if I'd run into Eradicate here instead of this Rattata, I can skip it and catch the next one that's not part of this ne evolutionary line. Um, especially here in the early game when your choice of Pokemon is very limited, um, having multiple Rattatas does not help me at all. Um, so we're going to do Dupes Claws on this particular Pokemon run. So the next Pokemon I run into that is not a Rattata or Eradicate is... will be our next friend. Okay, finally, we've found a Pokemon that is not a Rattata, and Mankey is a pretty good Pokemon to have. Um, it's, a, it's an early fighting type, and it's, it'll absolutely be useful down the line. So we are going to do our best to catch this Mankey. Come on, Pokeball, don't fail me. Oh, Pokeball failed me. Well... Gotcha! Take that! Light and agile on its feet, and ferocious in temperament, when angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. All right, nickname for Mankey. Peaches. Peaches the Mankey. Okay, and that is our... Is this route... No, this isn't Route 2. What route is that? Route 22. I knew it was a 2 number, but I didn't think it was actually Route 2, because Route 2 is to the north of us here. Okay. Let's heal up, and maybe... Okay, we're on Route 2 now. Oh my gosh, I really, really need the bike, or the running shoes, or something. Um, okay, here's our next encounter. Yes! Pidgey. Pidgey is a good Pokemon to have. So, we will catch the Pidgey. Oh man, I really hope it doesn't faint Daniel, because Daniel's pretty cool. Yes! Okay. Cool. Oh, now we need another nickname. Nickname Pokemon is hard sometimes. Yes. We're gonna go with PJ. PJ the Pidgey. I think that fits really well, don't you? Okay, so here we go, going into Viridian Forest. This one's gonna be tough for us, because there's a lot of good Pokémon in here, and if 
we <sighs> there's so many there's just so many good Pokemon in here there's uh, Weedles and Caterpies um, there's Pikachus in here as well and honestly I don't know if Pikachu would be the right choice if we ran into one uh, also it does have a pretty low encounter rate here in Viridian Forest I think it's like 10% or something like that so here's hoping we get a really good encounter in here. Likely, 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 likely that it's Caterpie. Oh, ooh, okay. Nope, we got Weedle instead. That is still a pretty good early Pokemon to have. And we could use him for, well, a tiny bit at least. How did you already get a critical hit off, you dumb bug? Doesn't matter, we caught Weedle anyway. Happy birthday! Often found in forests and grasslands, it has a sharp, toxic barb of around two inches on top of its head. We're going with Wingman, because Beedrill has wings. Yep, yep. And we got another Pokeball. That's always good. And... You know, Caterpie could have been a really good choice, because when Caterpie evolves into Butterfree at level 10, Technically, it's Metapod, but whatever. At level 10, I believe it learns Confusion, and Confusion is a pretty good early Psychic-type move to have. I don't know how useful it is as far as, like, the important battles go. Okay, so I finally finished some training uh, on my Pokémon. It took way longer than I was wanting it to, but... I got it done. It was exhausting. It was almost way too much time put into training Pokemon. And I only got I got five Pokemon at level nine. And it was almost too much work. But I but that is that is the point of the Nuzlocke, is that you're not trying to cheat or game your way through, you're just trying to you're, you're trying to make it as challenging as possible. And with the threat of just losing Pokemon after every battle, you kind of have to do what's necessary to win. Or else you'll lose Pokemon. And I don't want to lose Pokemon. It's so sad when Pokemon go away. So... Hopefully, it goes okay. I'm, I'm expecting that I will lose Pokemon regardless of how much I train or how much I do, but I also, I'm, I'm employing a new rule that is, um, it's fairly common, but the rule is the Pokemon I use cannot be, I cannot overlevel. Um, and what I mean is I can't overlevel to the next gym battle, or even the most next significant battle, so like a rival battle is a significant battle. So for the first gym, I believe that Brock has an Onyx at level 14, so I can't overlevel, I can't, I can't use a Pokemon above that level. Um, Obviously, once the fight starts and someone gets above that level, then that's okay. But before the fight, I, I am not allowed... I am not allowed that luxury. So, I could have gone higher, and maybe I should have, but for the moment, I think we're okay. For some reason, I feel like... Yeah. Just thinking out loud. 
kind of. I'm very, I'm really fortunate though too, because so I was doing, I, I was doing all that grinding, and I almost lost Wingman uh, pretty early on because I caught him at level three, and the first Pokemon that I fought, I uh, was grinding with him. Um, I almost lost him. I got down to one HP against a Weedle. That was, that would have been really embarrassing. So, and I'm gonna do my best to, I'm wondering if I need to fight every trainer. It's probably a good idea, right? To fight every trainer. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. We're gonna f we're gonna battle every trainer. I'm still not sure if I want to use shift or set p battle style. Hmm. It certainly does make the game more interesting. As opposed to that style. Or, I could leave it in shift. You know, it's probably... No, it probably doesn't work. Like, if you're gonna do one... If you're gonna do set, just do set. But the other option you have is keep it on shift so that you can know what Pokemon is coming out, but don't actually shift. Leave your Pokemon in so that the advantage of the advantage of switching for a free move. I'm fighting a Weedle with a Kakuna. Go PJ! That's probably not the right way to play though. If I'm gonna do set, I should just do set. You know what I mean? Hmm. We're gonna try it for a little bit. How about that? Um, I will change it after this battle. We're gonna try set battle style. Because if that's a better way to play, at least as far as Nuzlocks are concerned, then I, wa I want to try it. My thing is, as I stated in the early part of this video, is I haven't done a Nuzlocke challenge in about, in a very long time. So, I... I didn't want to add too many rules to the challenge here because I was unsure if I could actually... I'm, 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 I was and I'm still unsure that if I could actually beat a Nuzlocke challenge, because the last time I did this, the first time I ever did this, was a spectacular failure. I didn't even get to, like, the third gym, uh, was how bad it was. Um, like, I lost my, I lost my starter really early on in that run. I, I, I couldn't keep up, I couldn't keep up with... Uh, the number of encounters I had, and I just, I kept Pokemon, Pokemon, so I was like constantly at a deficit that whole run, and so I'm still, still leery about actually attempting this challenge. Um, so, oh, I said I was gonna... Okay, we are in set mode now. Um, it's probably the right move going forward. Because I gotta, I gotta try. I gotta try. And if I fail, then I fail. So... And, uh, I, do, I do not want to fight wild Pokemon right now. I fought so many wild Pokemon. 
just to get my Pokemon to the level they're at. Why are all the trainers, like, turned the other direction? It's so weird, right? Okay, who's out front? Kuna is not working out front. We're gonna switch in for PJ, I think. Did you know that Pokemon Evolve? Actually, yes, I'm very aware that Pokemon Evolve. Bug catcher, Charlie. Yes, use the gust. You know, I was wrong earlier. I thought that Pidgey knew Gust first instead of Tackle. And I think I'm thinking of the original red and blue game. I think Pidgey knew Gust to start out. I think it was in Generation 2 where it learned Tackle first instead. So... Oh my gosh, my Pidgey's at level 11 now. I gotta be careful. It's not like Pidgey's gonna be useful in a battle against rock Pokemon anyway. So I better, I better switch out here. Um, let's switch into... Planthony's the only one who's really gonna help me out in the fight with Brock. Although, I suppose... I suppose, actually, actually, that's not true. Mankey could be very strong. Very useful against Brock. Or Peaches, I'm sorry. Peaches! Um, we're gonna switch into Peaches so that he can get some experience as well. It's just a Metapod, it's not like he's dangerous. He is dangerous. Well, shoot. I have miscalculated. I gotta tell you, I am quite sick of the bug Pokemon in Viridian Forest right now. Why? Oh, why did they only ever give you, like, two options in this part of the game? Like, yeah, there's Metapods and there's Kakunas, but... Doesn't mean it was a good idea. Okay, PJ is too high of a level right now. Planthony... Level 10 now. Peaches. Let's put Peaches out front. And we're gonna do... I think before... I think I want to try and fight Brock before the end of today's video. Um, it has taken me far longer to actually get there than I wanted to, but that is the price you pay. And we're gonna do it. I think... I think it'll be smart to try and do at least one gym battle a video. Or at least try to. We will do our best. It kind of depends on time on my end. Because uh, I, do, I do most of my recordings for videos on Saturdays. Um, and depending on the Saturday, sometimes I have to work, sometimes... I have family obligations, uh, you know, life stuff. Life, life gets to us all, and I try to rec so I try to record Saturdays. Um, and I try to get as much of my recording done on Saturdays as I possibly can. So I, I tend to do three video. I'd like to do three videos a week: Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, three different games, which is a lot of recording. It, depending on how fast or how efficient I am for the day, it uh, it'll take me it'll take me a couple hours. It'll take me many hours actually in order to just get through it all. 
Um, I think last, the previous Saturday that I did this, it took me like seven hours to get all of my recordings done. No, that's that's not true. It was it was probably closer to five. It's probably closer to five hours. But I was also double recording last weekend, so like I had I have a YouTube I have a series going where I'm playing through Subnautica, and uh, I I tend to try and have like a surplus of videos ready to edit or post or upload or whatever, and. I was at a deficit at that point. Um, I didn't have a video to edit for the weekend, so like I double recorded last the previous Saturday. Um, so I did like two Subnautica videos, two Hollow Knight videos, and I didn't have anything else at the time. But you know, depending on how much you have to cut out, I mean, an average recording is an hour and a half to two hours, and something like this has already taken me. Uh, we're up to about two, almost two and a half at this point. Okay, I think we're ready. I did a little bit more grinding here. Um, I didn't get everybody up to level 13, but I figure I'm really not going to use Daniel or Wingman that much in this battle. And same thing with PJ. I mean, we're going up against rock types. I, I just don't think they're going to be that useful. So Peaches and Planthony are going to be like, you know, the ones that I need. Um, so we'll send out Peaches first, and then we'll do a switch into Planthony uh, for Onyx. Um, I don't really want to fight that dude. Um, we're gonna save right now. Okay, we are saved, and let's let's get it done. You know, they made Brock out in the anime to be like this really compassionate individual who's also, you know, completely enamored with the ladies. But, um, I always got the impression that for the game here, he was kind of a rough individual and kind of cocky. Um, I don't know, he just struck me as not that great of a dude. But, you know, what do I know? I, I wasn't. That, maybe that's just my impression. Or maybe it's because I was very young and I don't remember watching the anime first. I remember playing the game first. Okay. We're gonna switch into Planthony. Maybe I trained up too much, you guys. What do you think? Should I have... Should I have... Let myself be a lower level to do this fight, or no? Onyx evaded the Leech Seed. It's not good. There we go. Landed the leech seed. Okay. So now we'll get at least some health back at the end of each at the end of each round. Um, still no guarantee, but you know. Ooh, bind. Uh... Oh well, easy. Okay, never mind. Okay, the Brock fight was easier than I was expecting. You know what I should have maybe done. Okay, so there's there's two, there's two types of Nuzlocks. There's the type of Nuzlocke I'm doing where you play the basic game with the added rules. And then there's the second version, which is called a Kaizo Nuzlocke. Now, I don't know where the term Kaizo comes from, and I'm not going to look it up for you, so if you need to know, go look for it yourself. But, there's a, there's things, this thing called a Kaizo Nuzlocke is a modded version of the game you're playing, where trainer battles, especially like the significant ones like uh, gym battles or your rival battle or the Elite Four, are much harder. Um, they tend to be higher leveled, they might have more Pokemon, they... 
it's just generally a much more difficult challenge. And I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't have found some sort of Kaizo for this game. Hmm. I'm not sure. You know what? Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should I continue with this particular run, which I might just do anyway, or should I maybe try to find a Kaizo version of this game and play that instead? Just let me know in the comments what you guys think. Anyway, I think we will leave that leave it here for this video. If you guys like what you saw, uh, hit the like button and subscribe for me. Um, and like I said, leave some comments down below. Uh, maybe I could improve on what I'm doing. Uh, this took a really long time to record. Um, and maybe you guys have some tips or suggestions moving forward. Um, and as always, I will catch you guys next time. Huzzah!